but the perks that they have is quite limited. Timeline to engage different vendors. Cost of wedding venue for the number of packs. What to look out for when choosing a venue? I think we spend about the additional $6,000. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna do a wedding Q&A and it's gonna be a really quick one. So we just wanted to answer all the questions that you guys had. Question number one, how long did it take for you to plan your wedding? What were some hiccups along the way that you didn't expect? I think active planning was like about four months. Yeah, so we actually yeah. chose our wedding venue and our gown like one year ahead of the wedding. Yeah, about four months. Yeah. yeah. We put wedding planning on pause because of COVID. And I think what really helped is that we had a wedding planner. What are the perks that Chimes give? So actually, the perks that Chimes give is actually very limited because it's not really a hotel. Like, Watami Weddings is actually just a wedding organizer. So what they do is they kind of like rent Chimes every time there's a wedding. When you book Chimes for a wedding, it's under Watawe and then Watawe basically rents it from Chimes. So then because of that, the perks that they have is quite limited compared to like a normal hotel, uh, hotel wedding. We didn't have free parking for our guests. Yeah. But it's a beautiful place, la, I would say. It is, but I think like if you are not particular about the venue and you don't really need chimes, then it's not very worthy. It's like chimes is not very worthy as a wedding venue. Yeah. Um, how is the hotel stay like? So we are given a few choices to choose from la, for chimes. It changes now and then, but then there's like Andas, Pan Pack, uh, Swiss Hotel, Fairmont, Capital Kempinski. Yeah. And you have to top up for the suite and yeah. like. Is subject to availability. Yeah, so <laughs> and they will only book it like six months in advance. But yeah, so you can't we wanted... even book it like earlier than that. Yeah. What to look out for when choosing a venue? I think it's like depends what you are particular about. For me, I'm very particular about aesthetics and the floor. <laughs> so I couldn't stand any hotels with carpets and I wanted good lightings, which is why we chose chimes. I think what to look out for when choosing a venue is really how you like the place. Um the package mm. given to you, yeah, like the perks. Um, your budget. Maybe some people is food. Sometimes it's just the vibe, the whole vibe of the place. Some mm. places, although they might be very expensive in name, but then the ballroom itself, it doesn't look grand. Okay, how much do you pay for the extra decor in Chimes? Okay, so for Chimes, right, actually the decorations on its own, like the ones that is provided to you for free, is very it's not free, fast. you pay for it in the package, but yeah, it's la, very it's bad. Crazy. Yeah, uh, how much we spend on the deco? Uh, we went quite crazy with the deco. La. We asked our florist for the quotation, and basically, if you want the flowers exactly how um, we did it, um, or like rather the amount la, that we did, it will be about an additional 4 to 5k on top of your whole wedding cost. If you see like Chimes a lot of photos right, they have like the fairy the, lights. Oh yes, the fairy lights. Yeah, fairy lights. so the fairy lights were like a thousand bucks or something Maybe just change. to set it up. The thing about Chimes is that because they are like a heritage site, so Chimes doesn't allow you to like stick things or and you can't really get like a external vendor that is not like credited. La. Like for example, the fairy lights thing, you can't get someone outside. They have like two vendors and you must use them. Okay, so in total, I think oh, it will be about 6, 000. five to 6,000. I think something that we should have probably not done was the flower art. But I really yeah. wanted the art. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't make sense though at the end of the day. It was a waste. And it was art. the most expensive. Eh? It was so expensive. We had to ship the frame from China. Or they had to ship the frame and we had to pay for the frame yeah. from China. I think it was a bit not practical because of the ship that we got in the end. Like it was a semi circle, right? So people couldn't like just walk through it. The arch itself was about 1.5k. I said that 1.5k. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so cost of wedding value for the number of packs. After GST is about 210. I think the thing that we need to take note of is that Chimes, lunch and dinner, same price. But Chimes lunch is very nice like, because of the sun, it comes the light, the light comes come through the, the mural. The stained glass window. Uh, stained glass window. So if you think about it, $211 times how many bags? 100 right? Will be about 31,000. And then you plus decor which was about 5 to 6k. And then you need to think about your gown, gown and your suit. 
spend quite a lot on the gown. Yeah, so we actually rented the gown from Truly Enamored and we rented two gowns. What we did was we went for the designer gowns because I also like that. If you want to get the exact same it's gown really like package, it will be about $8,000. Yeah, $8,000, yeah. yes, yes. My suits will cost about total another 1000 plus. We also tailored suits for my brother-in-law and my dad and also that will also add to the cost. There's also bridal makeup, hairstyling and grooms makeup, hairstyling if you want and then also for your parents or rather your mother's lah. One bridal hairstyling session without makeup was actually $200 and then one session of makeup and hairstyle for two mummies uh, $180 each which is $360. Then groom touch up and styling was $100. And then they also have a surcharge for early morning because ours was an afternoon wedding so mm, they had to come mm, like 5 a.m. or something. But even if it's not an afternoon wedding, they already have to do that because usually you got like a church wedding yeah. or like something. So yeah. in total, I think that was a about a thousand dollars. Yeah. $1, so because we had oh, a wedding yes. planner, our package would be about four thousand dollars. We got the whole package. They will settle everything for you. Literally settle everything. What they would do if you get the whole package is they will actually give you suggestions because they have partners also. They will bring you down, follow you. Videography and photography is another another cost. cost. For us, we actually got our friends to do it because we didn't want like those usual videos and photos like the slow mo kind of we didn't want that we just wanted to capture the memories Correct. that's just it yeah yeah so we just asked our friends to like kind of like help us with that lah so wedding day photography a uh, principal photographer 3.3k uh, if you don't mind associate then 2.8k okay so one photographer plus uh, one assistant mm -hmm. then if you want a videographer it will be video only $3,000. Yeah, so imagine that you it's like a $6,000. Yeah, it's an additional $6,000. Additional $6,000. I mean, we are just telling you guys based on like a traditional, like a usual wedding. Like, we probably didn't spend as much because like we said, we didn't even hire a yeah, yeah. professional. We gave ampals. Yeah. yeah. And then of course, you have to talk about ampals. So your um, bridesmaids, yeah, bridesmaids groomsmen, groomsmen. Uh, people who help you mm. during tea ceremony to be given to the juniors. Uh, yeah. Uh, all these little little things that uh, you have to take note but I think we spent about $2,000 on Unpals. Yeah, that kind of sums up the cost, cost in total. You have to kind of like take into account all the miscellaneous like the quota and the stuff mm. and all that. Okay, yeah, so in total right, I mean after we talk about everything, the breakdown is actually about 49 to 50k la, I would say. Okay, next thing, how do you decide which dog gift to get? Okay, so for dog gift right, actually this is quite... We didn't really think much about it. We thought like, you know, we go for all these weddings, then people give us like all these wedding things, right? Yeah, and then especially like got their name or their face. Yeah, like, then... Why do I keep it in my house, you know? Yeah, and then you want to throw, you also feel pies in throw. Yeah. yeah, so what we wanted to do is edibles. Yeah. So that people can just eat and then they just remember. Mm. Yeah. So we just got the macaron. Yeah. But it's, the, it's a package deal la, from... From Chimes. From Chimes, yeah. yeah. Okay, what are the most important vendors to settle first? So most important vendors, in my opinion, would be your wedding planner if you want to have one. I highly recommend having one because it really takes a lot of strife of the wedding away from you. If not, you will end up having to rely on your bridesmaids and groomsmen. Then you become a bridezilla. Yeah. In the end, no. right, honestly, our bridesmaids and groomsmen didn't have to do anything. Yeah, and I think they enjoyed it a lot because yeah. of that. Yeah. yeah, so they really like enjoyed their time. Like, and all they got to do is like, probably for me especially, was like carrying my dress, you know, making sure that I had my things, being sure that I'm okay. But other than that, they really had like nothing to do. Just go there, take photos, look pretty, walk in, and that's all. Mm. So I think it was a good experience. Like, and I didn't want to like also sour the relationship because, you know, you have expectations as a bride. Like, oh, you know, you should be doing this. But then in the end they don't do and then you become angry or you pissed mm -hmm. off and then you know they, you piss them off also because you're like uh why can't you do this for me and then they're like oh no you know uh we don't have time why can't you be more understanding blah 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 la. so those are things that keep it off wider so yeah. that was money that we paid um knowing that these are the relationships that we can save la another thing is the venue i guess oh, yes, the <laughs> yeah, venue. venue i think 
venues are very important and maintaining relas- good relationship with them is very important uh, they can give you what you need mm-hmm. uh, at the end of the day your venue controls your wedding almost and especially also because if you don't do venue first the venues that you want will be taken up very fast, very fast. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what did you have to forsake due to budget constraint or what we suggest to forsake if someone else is facing such issue? Okay, so we didn't really forsake anything due to budget constraints but what I would suggest people to forsake if someone else had the issue is be decor. Get a cheaper gown, decor, I venue, think yeah. venue la. Cause honestly, if you are not looking for a specific look, most venues look pretty similar. Yeah. Food might be something that you don't have to spend on. A lot of wedding venues, they give you food package, right? Mm. Like the normal food package and the premium food package. We went for the premium one. Ah. Actually, I feel like the guests gonna come and then they're just gonna eat the food and they're gonna leave. But the ampao is already given before they eat the food. So they don't give you the ampao because of how good of the food, food is. Food, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's the game you guys played with your guests? Think that it's a good idea to keep the guests occupied. Okay, so I think we'll go through everything that we actually plan out for the guests. Ah. We really had activities making sure that they were entertained uh, throughout our, our wedding because we did not want them to get bored. I think starting the first thing was obviously his machine. Yeah, I was like, why, why, why cannot, why guy cannot watch me now? Huh? <laughs> yeah, so he marched in with a bouquet of flowers, of tulips, <laughs> and then... Your okay, machine lah, then yeah, my machine, solemnization. solemnization. Then we also have like, performances, like, uh, like his friends were singing, like live performances. During our second march in, we had like games, a Kahoot game. Uh, we actually had actual prizes uh, so that was very fun because like, it's basically like yeah. questions about us. Whoever win got like top 3 prize. Yeah, and then my friend Bob got... Skincare. <laughs> yeah, it was like a basket of skincare, <laughs> Xiaomi and a blender. Yeah. 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 Uh, we also had like Mama Hand to like kind of uh, design this paper thing, like just activities you can do for day, something that you want to tell your couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's kind of like a, like a card on the table for you to write. Lah. Yeah, we had the videos from Yomo to kind of kill time. Uh, okay, so the videos for Yomo, right? We played it at the start of the wedding when everyone was taking their seats. So we played like a pie face video so that people had something to watch while waiting for the wedding to start. And then we also had another video just like in the middle of the wedding. Lah. You all saw on YouTube also? Yeah. Yeah, we'll link it here. Uh, what so else? that was one of the entertainment la. Then we had a friend consolidated. She consolidated a bunch of videos for from our friends, our friends to play during the wedding. Yeah, like well wishes, like how do you meet the couple? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then we had a performance, like an ending performance. Uh, we had a dance out. So during the dance out, we also played like the post credit scene to kind of thank everybody. So that was quite interesting la. I think mm. a lot of people were like wow that's quite creative we had almost no chance to eat at all because yeah. after what activity we are doing the next activity and we're doing the next activity and then yeah, yeah. and then uh, at the end of the wedding I think we got our florists which is sand wraps right to prepare like brown paper so that everyone could like collect flowers before they leave mm. yeah because we number one didn't want the flowers to get wasted and number two I think people were damn happy la. Yeah. like going around like I, picking flowers honestly I was doubting that anyone would do it Mm. But we actually announced like, okay, you know, you can take flowers and then people were like, hey, I'm gonna take for my parents, yeah, you know, my, take my mother and my girlfriend or and because the flowers were still fresh. So like, nice, you really know. Really very fresh. Yeah. So and that was worth it la. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is timeline to engage different vendors. Maybe wedding planner first if you yeah. want, then Venue and gown. After that will be the random vendors, which is your yeah, those, florist. Yeah, florist maybe three months. Yeah, your rented car. Your car can be two weeks before. Suit so should be about three months, or yeah. you want four months before. Yeah. Okay, I think this is our last question, but not really pertaining to our wedding specifically. But how would you deal with difficult parents that have a very traditional mindset and expectation of wanting the guy side to pay for majority of the wedding? Okay, so it just isn't fair to him lah. That's what you say. Okay. Mm. Okay, I think this one is really like up to you to work it out as a couple lah. Yeah, I think this is probably one of the ultimate tests of yeah. like whether you guys can work together. If like you don't agree, you can always pay. If your parents are giving you such problems, I'm assuming that it's because they are probably the ones paying for it. And what you can do is to wait until you have enough money so that you don't have to involve them in any financial decisions. 
that's the best okay because like there's no way to avoid this and there's no way that you can change your parents traditional yeah. mindset i think most importantly is you guys make decision as a couple even if it's like her view i wouldn't say it's like you know she said this but instead of that the way that i approach it is we think this is it so everything is a we and then when you bring it up you may get a lot of shit as a couple but at the end of the day you stay together and you fight all your battles together and that's ultimately the biggest thing in our relationship right yeah so. i think that is all already i hope I, we answered all you guys' questions and if you guys have anything uh else do let us know in the comment section down below but thank you so much for watching and we'll, we'll see, see you guys in the next, in the next one. video the next? okay bye bye, bye, -bye. Get married soon. Get married soon. <laughs>